Okay. Please, if you have some doubt, sometimes Shaitan cuts doubt in your mind. Okay. That maybe the Quran is from another source. Let's say it's from Shaitan. Mm. But he kind of um, be or, or deceive Allah, the Prophet, in thinking it is from God. So, in Jibril, in this case, is perceived to be Shaitan. If anonymously I tell you this, how do you respond to it? And you, if you it don't. It's back into your mind. How do you get it out? You don't respond to such thoughts, Akhi. If you have a shred of doubt about the Quran, then you're not a Muslim. This is not wiswas. This is doubting. See, there is difference between getting intrusive thoughts that, oh, this Quran may not be, been revealed to uh, uh, Jibreel, may not this and that, and then you shake your head, say, Billah, this is shaitan. This is intrusive thought. I love the Quran. I read it. I implement it in my life. This is intrusive thoughts. Allah will not hold you accountable unless you speak about it or act upon it. But if someone is reading the Quran, yet he's doubtful. I don't know if this is from Allah or not. I don't know if this is from Shaitan or from Jibreel. This person is not a Muslim. Yani, why would he spend all his time and life in a religion that he does not believe in? Part of Islam is certainty. And if you're not certain of the oneness of Allah, if you're not certain that the Quran is the word of Allah that is preserved till the day of judgment, if you're not certain that the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger and servant of Allah and that there's no messenger after him, you're not a Muslim. So sit with yourself and reflect on what you actually believe because if you believe the latter, you're in deep trouble, my friend.